Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Let's hop right in with a banger. And this is the only aim guide you'll ever need. Alright boys, let's start with the basics. To get the best aim possible, you need to find a sensitivity that suits your playstyle. For example, if you're gonna play agents like, for example, Killjoy, you're mainly gonna play off utility. And let's be honest, no one's gonna expect a Killjoy to go crazy and hit insane flicks. Hey. Now, if you're gonna main fast mobility agents like Jet, for example, your job is to clear commonly held angles and to entry. So if you have to check everything and be the first on site, it's fine to go with like a higher sensitivity. A really, really common mistake I see in lower elo is that people play with a sensitivity that's a way too high for them. Guys, you're gonna whiff a lot of shots if your sensitivity is way too high. Think about it. If your sensitivity is way too high and you can barely control your mouse, will you really be able to have consistently good aim? Oh, and let me answer that for you. The answer is no. Just to be safe, I would pick a sensitivity between 0.3 and 0.6 on 800 dpi. And just to make your life easier, here are the conversions for your dpi. If you chose a sensitivity in that range, it's time to hop inside the range and optimize it. So what I want you to do is put the mode on medium bots and record yourself hitting the bots. After you've done it, I want you to watch your recording back on 0.5 speed and check if you're over flicking or under flicking. Oh, and if you can't record, that's fine. You just have to pay extra attention to your aim. Now, if you're over flicking, I want you to turn your sensitivity down. And if you're under flicking, I want you to turn your sensitivity up. All right, boys, let's quickly talk about movement and the guns. First of all, the golden rule in Valorant, never run a gun. I would also never jump and shoot unless you have a shotgun. If you shoot a Vandal or a Phantom for example, it'll go straight up and then left to right. Quick little side note boys, this only happens after the first 5 bullets. That means if you want to control your spray, you have to aim down and then right to left. And now, let's talk about a topic that everyone asks about. It's called strafing. Strafing is where you move left to right in a gunfight, but time it so your bullets are still accurate. To practice strafing, I want you to get a moving crosshair like I do in this clip. At first, you want to shoot the wall, walk a little bit, and shoot again. Do this until you get the timing down. After a little while, you can shorten the distance, and then shorten it even more, until you're tracking and shooting the same spot while strafing. Now replace that wall with a few practice bots, and voila, you now know how to strafe. In Valorant, aim can be broken in two different categories. They're called crosshair placement and mechanical aim. We all heard of the term crosshair placement, but how do you naturally get good crosshair placement? Crosshair placement is trained in actual games. It's really part of your game sense. And just for the people that don't know what crosshair placement is, it is the act of placing your crosshair where you expect the enemies to be. By doing this, you shouldn't have to move your mouse as much to headshot an enemy. Most higher elo players and pros have this under control, so they're very consistent with it. Now for the second part, we're going to talk about mechanical aim. Mechanical aim is pretty much what people think aim actually is. It's how well you can move your mouse left to right to shoot your target. And you can train this skill with a lot of muscle memory and aim training. So I went back in the lab and made the perfect aim routine that covers both crosshair placement and mechanical aim. First, we're going to start with the practice bots. This is going to seem really, really simple, but it goes a long way. I want you to kill all the practice bots and move your crosshair from left to right without moving your crosshair vertically at all. After you get that down and get comfortable, I want you to move right to left. Make sure you go slow and don't over flick. This is how muscle memory is made. And hey boys, blast some hardstyle in your ears. This will make the aim routine way more fun. And over to the next exercise. Eliminate 50 bots. The way you want to train your aim here is to flick into your target's direction and then slowly micro adjust it to their head. This is pretty much the closest thing you can get in the range that replicates in-game flicking. And as always, do it slow. There's no rush. This is how you build muscle memory, boys. After you've eliminated 50 bots 5 times, you can go over to the medium or hard bot. With this exercise, we're training your reaction timing, we're training your crosshair placement, and we're training your mechanical aim. I want you to do the medium bots until you can hit 25 consistently. After you've done 25 consistently, you can move over to the hard bots. I want you to do either medium bots or hard bots 10 times. After you've done everything in the range to perfect your aim against bots, it's time to fight real people in deathmatch. You're gonna do deathmatch 3 times. In the beginning of your very first deathmatch, I don't want you to shoot anyone, just track the players. After a little while, you can start shooting. I want you to focus on strafing and crosshair placement. In your second deathmatch, I want you to grab a guardian and only go for head taps. And in the third deathmatch, I'm giving you the option. You're either gonna focus on a new gun you would use, like a marshal, a bulldog, a sheriff, etc. Or you can try to get more head taps with the guardian. And just to be clear and summarize the whole aim routine, 
At first, you're going to do practice bots left to right and then right to left. Then you're going to do eliminate 50 bots five times. Thirdly, you're going to do medium or hard bots 10 times. And finally, you're going to play deathmatch three times. Trust me, do this every day for a month and you'll notice huge improvements in both your aim and ranking. And guys, that is it for the video. If this video helped, leave a like, you know, maybe subscribe, show your boy some love. I'll be dropping bangers every week from now on. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. But for now, peace.